this video is to show you how I wrap my stuff and show you the stuff that I'm wrapping and the difference in the stuff that I'm wrapping. So check this out. See which side it comes up on? That is the first way we're going to do it. second way we're going to do it is on that side, okay? Makes all the difference in the world. But then again, so does this little trick right here. First wrap, crimp it, crimp it. Go nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I put the tape right here because these things really eat up your hands over time. Okay. This one's coming up on the other side. Now. The reason you go on one side versus the other is because the first side is going to be with this bottom piece facing out. The second one is going to be with this bottom piece facing in. Now I'm wrapping it the opposite direction as the first wrap because it's going to be turned upside down. And after it gets turned upside down, it will be spiraling the same direction. Now, I've been playing with these. I've been playing a lot. Two, three, four, five. And I accidentally did one backwards and ended up with this. One that way, one that way. So I did an experiment. Let's do two this way. So, two this way, which is the opposite direction of rotation in inverted. So it's still spinning the same way. But then I did the opposite twice on both ends and inverted it. Now, I've been playing, I've been doing Qigong, Tai Chi, raves, psychedelics for a long time. And it has taught me to feel the energy moving through my body. So, the spirals make a difference in the way the energy moves. And that also makes a difference in the way you feel it and it makes a difference in the way you move too. You see the direction of the wrap around the stick that has stayed the same with everything. Why? Because I haven't experimented otherwise. So. The difference in the feelings is a trip. I've given them all names. This one is a centering stick because it, it does this. This one is a moving stick because two of them, it does that. These I call either the jaws of life or expansion because it does this. It does that, okay? And sometimes after that, I have to go back to this one to pull me back together. Now these opposite spin inverted, I call vortexes. I get dizzy with these. I start spinning with these. I mean, literally, because I, I do Qigong, I do Tai Chi. And my, these are my preference to do movements in. That's why I call them moving sticks. 
but sometimes when you're moving that energy, you'll start to get into a vortex, okay? This one creates the vortex, and then you start to go with it, and it's just almost too, it is too much for me, and I move a lot of stuff. Relative. So, these are for the beginners, centering sticks, moving sticks are intermediate, expansion sticks are just intense, vortex sticks, you're not getting your money back, okay, these are crazy, these are an exception, I'm not giving you your money back because you're in for it if you get these. but you better have something like this to come back to. Okay, so we got this now. Here's the tricky part. Nope, nope, let's start with this. The very first crimp needs to be as sharp as you can get it. Absolutely as sharp as you can get it. And after you have that first curve, you just squeeze it together until it's a circle. That's a big hole. That's a big hole. I can get smaller than that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, see, I'm rotating. You're not supposed to rotate. You're supposed to squeeze. Did I do it backwards? I did, I did, I did. This is the wrong coil to be inverted. First turn is the most important one. You be as tight as you can get it. And I think I did pretty darn good on that one.
That's it. Okay. Moving sticks are my favorite. Okay, and incorporate Tesla plates. Oh my goodness. All right, it's over now, Dustin. I love y'all. Bye.